Hi everyone, welcome to Freezer Burns, a video documentation of a man slowly clogging his arteries. Just kidding. As always, I'm your host Greg, the frozen food master, and you're joining me as I eat my way through the freezer aisle one box at a time. Today, I'm really excited. We got a classic, guys. It is the Banquet Select Recipes Classic Fried Chicken $1.29 a box. I'm ready to get this out of the box, see how it looks. I'm gonna stick this baby in the microwave, even though I know it's gonna taste better in the conventional oven. I'm gonna put this to the test in the microwave. I'm gonna see how it looks when it's cooking. I'm gonna explain how it smells, and then I'm gonna get this into my belly. Freezer burn starts right now. Here we go. Once again, this is the Banquet Select Recipes Classic Fried Chicken, $1.29 a box. Fried chicken thigh with mashed potatoes and corn. It reminds me of something I just taught my kids, much to the uh, disappointment of my wife. When you say, guess what? Chicken butt. Guess why? Chicken thigh. So I just thought I'd share that. Now, what do we got here? We got basically down home goodness everyone, in a nice little $1.29 package. We have fried chicken, classic style. We have mashed potatoes. We have corn. We got a triple starch explosion. And this is a select recipe with crispy batter dipped chicken. This is a premium meal. And we got 255 grams of it. Let's see how it cooks. Ooh. Okay, actually, you know what, before, let's see how bad it is for us, okay? Nutritional facts, one meal serving size, 228 grams, 440 calories, 240 calories from fat, 26 grams of total fat, six grams of saturated fat, one and a half grams of trans fat. I don't think I've actually said a trans fat uh, thing in the nutritional facts in like 50 episodes or so. 80 milligrams cholesterol, 1,140 milligrams of sodium, 600 milligrams of potassium, 30 grams total carbs, 4 grams dietary fiber, 1 gram sugar, 22 grams protein. Okay, banquets like recipes, delicious meals made with tender meats, tasty sauces, and hearty sides. Enjoy family favorites like homestyle pot roast with generous chunks of meat, chicken parmesan topped with flavorful, flavorful marinara sauce and mozzarella cheese, or our authentic hand-rolled enchiladas smothered in red sauce. We tried those enchiladas, guys. Wasn't that great? Uh, but so good for so little. Banquet makes no bones about it. This is cheap frozen fare. They're gonna just give us some deep home goodness. Now, classic fried chicken. This is definitely a thigh, guys. It certainly ain't a breast, and it's certainly, it's basically just a mound of chicken. Um, and notice they kind of downplayed the corn and downplayed the mashed potatoes. This is enlarged to show quality. That's great to know. Microwave oven directions. Cut and remove film cover uh, of chicken and potatoes. Don't expose that corn, my friends. Microwave on high for three minutes. Stir the potatoes. Microwave an additional one and a half to two and a half minutes. Let stand two minutes. Check that product is cooked thoroughly. See what this looks like. Well, this is uh, just you know, no real flash here, guys. We got this three containers. We got starch here. We, uh, we got corn. We got mashies, mashed potatoes. That's just kind of a new name I just came up with, mashies. And we got this hunk o fried chicken. Um, that's basically it. Nothing much more to report here. I'm going to expose this chicken. Kind of sounds uh, kind of scary. And show you. Um, 
This would be a big hunk of chicken thigh. Um, smells just like batter. Um, you know, I would say, you know, my instinct is to say, oh, it smells like KFC. It doesn't smell like KFC. KFC, even the original uh, crispy batter, has a way more peppery smell to it. This is just plain, generic batter. That's about all I can say. Potatoes don't smell like anything, and I'm not going to dare expose the corn. I'm going to put this in the microwave. When I come back, this would have cooked, have reached the ideal temperature, safe for eating. I'm going to tell you how it smells. I'm going to get this into my belly. Welcome back. So I've taken this out of the microwave. I cooked it. I stirred the potatoes. I cooked it some more. Taking the film off. I'm getting a good smell off of it. Remember, I'm still a little congested, guys. I just want to use that as a disclaimer. That I'm sick. And it doesn't matter. Because I'm getting a three-ring circus flying up my nose. And I'm smelling each one distinctively. The potatoes, the sweet corn, the fried chicken classic style. Now, let's get to the stuff that we already know, right? Corn, I'll tell you, you know, um, I know I say you can't mess up corn, but to be perfectly honest, Banquet's messed up other things that I thought you couldn't mess up before. At least they do corn right. This is always good. It smells sweet, full kerneled. And pretty decent even in the microwave. Once again, they don't disappoint. Mashed potatoes. Very fluffy, uh, if you can consider this. Well, I mean, it's not really fluffy. I don't know. Here's one thing I want to say, though. I like my mashed potatoes kind of white. Um, this is kind of gray. I'm not going to let that affect my, uh, my review. That's good potato, you know why? There's some little classic fried chicken crust that kind of went inside there. That's some good stuff. Now, chicken, let's get to the good stuff. First off, see how greasy that is underneath? I don't think that's a bad thing. I just want to point it out. It's glistening, right? Let me see if I can catch the glare. It is uh, glistening on the bottom. When I took this out of the microwave, it was like sizzling. It was good. I'm not talking like you just bought some fajitas at Chili's and they're coming out with the little griddle pan thing, whatever. Not that type of sizzle. But there was some oil cracking, crackling here on the black plastic and it was getting me excited. The smell, it's, I, I mean, it smells like what you would expect at an old country buffet, at your grandma's house, maybe not my grandma's house, but you know, for you white folk, your grandma's house, especially down south, it's what I would expect from fried chicken. Now, let me try to, it's tough because I'm holding this. I kind of need, I need like a key grip. Who wants to be my key grip? Actually, that's kind of scary that I just ask people randomly. See, that's the problem. For the majority of you people who watch me on iTunes, I have no idea who you are, so do me a favor. If you really enjoy the show, I've been meaning to say this, just give me some feedback. You know what I'm saying? Like, leave a comment on iTunes so I understand who you are, or join the Facebook group so I understand who you are, or you know what? Every once in a while, I know it's convenient to watch on your iPod. Stop by FreezerBurns.com and just say hello, because, you know, there's, there's a, a group of people on FreezerBurns.com that comment and do stuff like that, and, you know, it's a, a good conversation. Anyways. I need a key grip to hold this. This is a piece of chicken. There is a bone. I do want to let you know that uh, you can't just go mowing this down. Uh, there is a bone in here. I'm going to try to bite away from the bone and try to get into the chicken. Mm -hmm. See the dark meat in there? Um, well, that was hot. Um, and that's not a bad thing again. Let me see if I can get it better. The fried part of it is plentiful. That was all batter. I'm going to try to break the batter up. See that? That's a lot of batter. I'm going to try to get a piece of chicken. 
Whoa! Just hit someone in the audience with that chicken. You okay, ma'am? Just kidding, I don't really have an audience. Okay, let me show you. Chicken is surprisingly moist after being in the microwave for five minutes. It's probably moist because of all that grease coming off of this crust, but it's not bad. In fact, I'm pretty impressed with this. Here's what I don't like about it, and then I'll tell you what I do like about it. What I don't like about it is there's just a little bit of mashed potatoes. The corn I can deal with just a little side dish, but I kind of want double the size of mashed potato as what I'm getting. The other thing I don't like about it is um, I would love to see Banquet take it up a notch. I know you're at the $1.29 price point. Let's, you know, let's go wild. Let's go to two bucks and let's see you throw in a drumstick in here or maybe, God forbid, a breast in here and I think we got ourselves a great meal. This is a good meal and I'm very impressed by it, especially for the price. Banquet Select Recipes Classic Fried Chicken, $1.29 a box. I give this a four star. Really, really impressed with this. As always, I'm your host, Greg, the Frozen Food Master. This has been another review of Freezer Burns. I forgot. I need a question of the day. Question of the day. Where is the best fried chicken you have ever, the best fried chicken you have ever had in your entire life? Both uh, in the store, in a chain, a fast food joint, your grandma's house, your neighbor, whatever. Best fried chicken you've ever had. Uh, sorry for you vegetarians. Um, I don't know. What's the best, you know, fried tofurkey you've ever had? As always, I'm your host, Greg, the Frozen Food Master. This has been another episode of Freezer Burns. Have a great weekend. I will see you Monday. And uh, yeah, that's it. See you next time.